パン屋ゆずるに頼まれて恋の餌持ってあるゆゆ食べたかっただけちょっと楽しみよパンかなってもいいシュワシュワ Before I begin this video, I would like to greet and wish all of you guys a happy new year. s And I know that it's a little bit late, but hey, it's better than never. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys who vibed with me in the past year. I would have not made it this far without all of you guys. So, thank you so much. Also, I would like to mention that I have not been posting regularly because, or as before, because,、um, because of the pandemic and the restrictions in place from where I live. And with that, I could really not go out and shoot film. So, I do not want to have that as an excuse not to be able to create and provide you guys with some content. And that being said,、um, my next videos will be related to fashion. By fashion, it will be outfits, sneakers, and whatnot, because that has always been where my interest lies aside from shooting film and the reason why I made this channel to begin with. But do not worry, especially my subscribers who subbed for the sole purpose of watching film related videos. I will never replace my content with just fashion. I just want to be upfront with all of you guys and be transparent about my current plans and situation. Just know that film will always have my heart and it will always be a part of this channel and it will never go away.、Uh, it's just that I can't shoot film right now and that is all. Okay, that's a mouthful for an introduction, and now that I got it out of the way, let's hop into the actual video itself. In this video, I will talk about how to achieve minimal looking aesthetic photos. The one I will be showing in particular is here at home. These tips can also be applied elsewhere as well, not just at home. I have been very active on Instagram about posting outfits, and one of the things that I incorporate with my photos is having a minimal looking aesthetic. I would very much say that shooting film has influenced my style greatly in achieving this look. The first thing to look for is definitely a clean space that is not overly crowded with a lot of stuff, hence the term minimal. This corner of this room in my house is where I shoot my shoe or outfit photographs because there is nothing much going on aside from the window and the plant itself. The second thing to look for is natural light. I cannot stress enough that this is one, if not the main factor, that contributes in achieving the minimal aesthetic look. For instance, This window has blinds, and the light coming in is blocked off by the blinds. The blind patterns add to the overall aesthetic of the photos, which I really like. Right here is another example where the light is coming through the hazy glass of the door. The glass diffuses and softens the light, and the light shines beautifully on the shoe. The third is place a plant in your photos. I honestly think that this is one of the main things that make a photo as well, aside from natural light. There is something about having a plant in a photo that makes it very aesthetically pleasing to look at. But you do not need to buy this big of a plant to achieve nice results. I suggest starting with what you have and play around with it until you come up with something. I want to stress that it is more important to have fun in the process because you learn as you go. And even myself, sometimes I come out empty handed, and it's just a matter of trial and error and practice to get it right. Also, I wanted to mention that editing also plays an important part in achieving the minimal aesthetic look. So, if you are interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below and I will make a video about it. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. And if you like it, please leave a thumbs up as it helps the channel a lot. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more amazing videos in the future. And if you wanted to check out my work, My outfits and everything that will all be on my Instagram as well as TikTok because I post 
fashion related videos and TikTok and you will find that in the description down below as well. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video and until next time, stay safe. Peace.